Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India last lecture we discussed about the rotation uh, how uh, we get one matrix uh, yeah, how we get the rotation matrix in terms of the direction cosines so today we are going to discuss about the orthogonality of a matrix because uh, this, this is very basic uh, to the uh, attitude dynamics of the satellite A real square matrix a real square matrix So, a real square matrix is row orthogonal if the inner product of its rows are 0. So, let us consider this C matrix which we were working with last time. C 1 1, C 1 2 and C 1 3 this constitutes one row. Similarly, this one is another row and similarly this one this is another row. So, total we have three rows in this and each of the row. So, uh, this we can write as say if we indicate this as R 1 tilde which is a vector in matrix notation this we indicate as r 2 tilde and this we indicate as r 3 tilde. So, this will write as r 1 tilde transpose. So, here r 1 tilde this is c 1 1 c 1 2 and c 1 3 see the difference this is a row vector which we have written in a column form. Okay, so, this is R 1 tilde and transpose of this then it will come in this format. So, better we should write here as R 1 transpose. So, this becomes R 2 transpose and this becomes R 3 transpose. So, we will have here R 2 tilde transpose R 3 tilde transpose. And if we take the transpose of this C matrix so, this will result in. So, taking the transpose of this, this is the uh, here in the column format. So, this will go into the row format and R 1 tilde transpose. So, we will have to take the transpose of that and if you take the transpose of that, it will get converted into R 1 transpose. Similarly, the other one will be R 2 transpose, R 3 transpose. Now, as we I have written here real L square matrix is row orthogonal if the inner product of its rows are 0. So, here you have one vector r 1 tilde another vector r 2 tilde another vector r 3 tilde. So, if the inner product of them it says 0 okay. on the say p orthogonality means they are perpendicular to each other. So, if you have two vectors here say this is r 1 and this is r 2 okay. and orthogonality implies they are perpendicular to each other and therefore, if you take the dot product of them. So, you will have r 1 tilde dot r 2 tilde this will be equal to 0. 
So, you do not have any component of R 2 along the R 1 direction or R 1 either I O R 1 along the R 2 direction or the same thing in the matrix notation you often write as R 1 transpose R 2 tilde this equal to 0 or either way R 2 transpose R 1 tilde this equal to 0. So, this way each of the rows here they are perpendicular to each other this is what the row orthogonality implies and their inner product of their these rows are 0 and therefore, in general notation we can write as R i tilde transpose times R j tilde this equal to 0 if i not equal to j. So, if, uh, i equal to i means if you are uh, j equal to i means you are uh, taking the dot product of the same vector means r 1 dot r 1 dot. So, it will turn out to be unity or whatever depending on the magnitude of the vector r 1. Okay. Okay, so, if, uh, from here so, what we can write that c times c transpose c times c transpose as c is the matrix r 1 this here just look into this c is the matrix r 1 tilde times r 2 tilde times r 3 tilde and c transpose we have written as in this place r 1 tilde r 2 tilde r 3 tilde. So, if we write in this format you will get this as r 1 time tilde times r 1 tilde this is r 1 r 1 tilde he here transpose is there this is transpose transpose transpose. So, transpose put here r 1 transpose r 2 tilde r 1 transpose r 3 tilde and so on. So, we need to fill this R 2 tilde transpose R 3 tilde R 3 tilde. So, now you can see that from this definition because if the rows are orth orthogonal to each other means only the diagonal terms will remain and the off diagonal terms will vanish. Okay, so, uh, we have the C matrix and uh, therefore, C times C transpose we are writing as R 1 tilde transpose R 1 tilde and off diagonal terms they will be 0 R 2 tilde transpose times R 2 tilde 0 R 2 tilde R 3 tilde transpose times R 3 tilde. Okay, so which we are writing from R 1 tilde transpose R 2 tilde transpose R 3 tilde transpose and here on uh, R 2 tilde transpose R 3 tilde transpose So, this gives us R 1 tilde transpose R 1 tilde and this inner product this will be 0 similarly this inner product this will be 0 okay, because by our assumption they are perpendicular to each other if they are not perpendicular to each other then this quantity will this quantities will not be 0. Similarly, this and this they are uh, inner product it is a 0 and uh, here we will have R 2 tilde transpose R 2 tilde this will be 0 0 
R2 tilde transpose, uh, R3 tilde transpose, R3 tilde. If say we have R1 tilde transpose, so uh, R1 tilde transpose we have uh, taken as say if better we write in terms of R1 tilde. So, we have written as C 1 1 C 1 2 C 1 3. Okay. So, R 1 tilde transpose this is C 1 1 transpose C 1 2 uh, C 1 3. So, uh, these are just a scalars and, uh, and until unless you have a vector where the they have different components this transpose you should not put it is just a scalar. So, we will put it this way. Okay. Therefore, we will have R 1 tilde transpose R 1 tilde equal to C 1 1 C 1 2 C 1 3 C 1 1 C 1 2 C 1 3. So, this makes it C 1 1 square C 1 2 a square C 1 3 a square. Okay. So, if C 1 1 is say all these are 2 2. So, this will be 2 a square 2 a square 2 a square. So, that makes it total 12. And what will be the magnitude of this vector? So, magnitude of vector R 1 this will be written as C 1 1 a square C 1 2 a square plus C 1 3 a square under root. Okay, so, that becomes then 12 under root which is 2 times root 3. Similarly, we can also define in terms of column vector. So, here C 1 1 the same way the C matrix we are choosing 2 2 now this is the column vector. So, C can be written as say if we indicate the column as C 1 tilde C 2 tilde and C 3 tilde. So, here your C 1 tilde this is C 1 1 C 2 1 and C 3 1. Similarly, C 2 tilde will be C 1 2 C 2 2 and C 3 tilde C 1 3 C 2 3 and C 3 3. Okay. So, C transpose then this will be written as C 1 tilde transpose C 2 tilde transpose C 3 tilde transpose. Okay. And then C transpose C this will become C 1 tilde transpose C 1 tilde And if we take this product here, C 1 tilde transpose C 2 tilde C 1 tilde transpose times C 3 tilde. this is transpose is there. Okay. If these vectors they are mutually orthogonal, okay, this is constituting one vector, 
this is constituting another vector, this is constituting another vector. So, if these vectors are mutually orthogonal, so that implies that these off diagonal terms means these two, this one and uh, these terms, they will vanish, these are the off diagonal terms. So, this implies that C transpose C will get as C 1 tilde transpose C 1 tilde 0 0 So, uh, this is called the column orthogonality. If I not equal to J. So, if a matrix is both row and column orthogonal, then it is called orthogonal matrix. Uh, if the diagonal terms of orthogonal matrix are unity, then it is termed as ortho normal matrix. So, this implies that we will have C C transpose equal to i and uh, or C transpose C equal to i. So, where i is the identity matrix. Okay, so, uh, now if we take the determinant of this C transpose C, so on the right hand side you will see that this quantity will be equal to 1. So, the determinant of product of two matrices it can be written like this okay. and uh, this is nothing but C a square because transpose uh, if we take the transpose of the matrix and take the determinant, its uh, determinant does not change. So, this is equal to 1, this implies C determinant, this equal to plus minus 1. Okay. So, this happens if the C matrix is orthonormal. And to qualify as a rotation matrix, it is required that this uh, C matrix should be an orthonormal matrix. So, here, but the plus 1 value this will be accepted. So, this will be accepted and C equal to minus 1 this is rejected because this belongs to. 
this is the left handed triad it belongs to left handed triad or the reference system. So, we are not taking this we will take this one and it can be shown by a very simple example. Also, you can see that C transpose C this equal to i. So, this also implies C times C transpose equal to i, which we can look by multiplying both sides by C in this one. So, this is C times i, which will be equal to C. Now, take uh, mm, multiply it by the inverse on both the sides. So, if we if we do so, so C times C transpose C uh, C times C inverse this will be equal to C times C inverse and you can see this will be unity matrix. So, this implies this. So, if we have uh, the C matrix which is uh, denoting a rotation matrix must be orthonormal and will later on also will show this uh, through uh, writing a lemma. Moreover, we can observe that our C matrix which was defined as C 1 1, C 1 2, okay. so if you remember we took one reference frame and then went to the other reference frame. So, this was a 1, a 2, a 3 and here b 1, b 2, this is a 3 and this is b 3. So, once we rotated it, this is orthogonal matrix and once we rotate about this point O, so this takes up this position and this we have written as b tilde equal to c times a tilde, where b tilde obviously b tilde it consists of b 1, b 2, b 3, this this is a vectrix. Similarly, a tilde it consists of a 1, a 2, a 3. Instead of this we can just write in terms of the unit matrix it does not matter. And because this is a conversion from a to b so, uh, we will write this as b slash a to indicate that this is taking it from a frame to b frame. Okay. So, if you now work it like this b tilde b tilde transpose. So, we can see that b tilde is c b a times a tilde this will be transpose and this is the dot product here. Okay. So, see these are the extension of what you have learnt in your in your 11, 12. So, C B A times A tilde. Okay. This is transpose. Now, if we uh, this is the matrix for uh, transformation we are doing. So, this will look like this. So, these two are vectors okay. and uh, this can be written as B A and already we know that this if this is orthogonal matrix. So, this can be uh, written as uh, if this is orthonormal C is orthonormal. 
ortho nor orthonormal then this can be written as i as the identity matrix where a tilde a tilde this will be the quantity because uh, already we have written here a1 uh, like this so you have here a1 a2 a3 a1 a2 a3 and a dot product in mid between so if, uh, so this can be written as a1 dot a1 a1 dot a2 a1 dot a3 and so on a2 dot a1 a2 a2 dot a3 so this uh, a tilde times a tilde transpose so if you have something like this a1 dot a1 dot if this is unity means this is unit vector if this is a unit vector okay and as we know that we have taken the triad so a1 a2 all they are perpendicular to each other so they, this will vanish a2 dot a3 and similarly this quantities will be zero So, the off diagonal terms they will turn out to be 0 and if this is 1 and similarly you have a 2 dot a 2 this equal to 1 and a 3 dot a 3 this equal to 1. So, you can put here 1 1 1 okay. means if this is a vectrix which are which is of unit magnitude okay. this is simply telling that this vectrix which is a 1 a 2 a 3 its magnitude is unity then we can replace this by 1 and the off diagonal terms will be 0 and therefore, what we can see that if we go to the previous page this matrix this turns out to be uh, identity matrix okay. this is an identity matrix as shown here. So, this this one gets reduced to an identity matrix and therefore, this matrix product will get reduced to C B A transpose V C equal to I. So, what we have shown here that if your basis vector is of basis vectrix is of unit magnitude basis vector is of unit magnitude unit magnitude then the transformation then the transformation C B A represents a rotation and is also ortho normal ok. So, to qualify as a rotation matrix any matrix should be ortho normal ok. If it is ortho normal, so it will qualify 
as the rotation matrix. Uh, 